You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Blue Orange Games for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and today is Dr. Beaker Day. Shake it, stir it, solve it. But before we do any gameplay or show you the game, we want to say thanks to... Blue Orange for sending us this game. Thank you, Blue Orange. We really appreciate it. Now, this is the makers from the makers of Dr. Eureka, and I've played those games... You've actually played the Microbe game. Dr. Eureka, you probably don't remember, but you did play it. Now this is based off of that. This is Dr. Beaker now. Okay. And it looks like we each get a beaker and something to mix with. Let's see. Yeah. Welcome to Dr. Beaker's laboratory. Grab your materials and work fast to help him finish his experiments. Using your stirring rod, move the molecules one at a time into the correct spots to re recreate the solutions and show you are the smartest scientist in the lab. So one is the prep, two is the stir, and then three is the match. Okay. For ages, what does that say there? Eight plus. Eight plus, two to four players, and it takes about 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Hmm, what do you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we'll come back, take it out of the plastic, show you all the pieces, and eventually play the game. Okay. Okay, here we go. I will give you the honors of the funnest part, I think, of a new game. Here you go. Ripping off the plastic. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I always enjoy that. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Now you get the honors of doing the unveiling of the game. Go ahead. Brrrr. And just keep doing the way you had it. Nah, 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 nah. It's only gonna, yeah, and then I'll have to. You kind of gotta push your fingers in. Okay, wait, okay, go. There you go. All right, check that out. So there are the stirring rods, the beakers. All right, let's get a few things out here. Okay. Oh, cool. These are the beakers. These are your mixers. And then one more beaker, and then the cards. And the instructions. Let's get this all out of here. We don't need this anymore. Here. We can bring the camera in just a little. Four beakers and four of the four stirring, stirring sticks. sticks. Huh? Yes. All right, there's the instructions. Now it looks as though, like those other games, you're color matching, okay? Mm -hmm. so. Hey, why don't you get the little marbles out and see, kind of keep them confined in this area here. But now you're trying to get those in and then match them up the way they have them on these little cards. Oh, okay, close. so I'm just going to throw a bunch down there. You got Dr. Beaker on one side and then you have the color combos on the other. So let's just see. That's a lot. That's a lot. Let's see if it gets to a point where there's just a few or one or two. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So there's always a lot on there. So two green in the middle, purple, purple, orange, orange. Okay. So we need to check out the instructions. But the one thing I do want to check out is the beakers. Okay, so that's fixed in here. Drop some in there and just kind of see. Take one and do it. So now you're taking this and you're trying to... Oh, I see. So there's a compartment here okay. with an opening. So we want them probably all in the middle to start. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's like you're mixing it up. It's cool how it goes. Yeah, it spins mm -hmm. in circles. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it now. All right, I just wanted to see that. That makes sense. Okay, so let's read the instructions, come back, and then we'll play against each other. Okay. All right, we are officially ready. Let me shuffle these one more time. Okay. Now you take the six balls. Now, we noticed the instructions say you need a stirring rod and eight balls, two of each color, but there's only six when you mix them two of each color, and everywhere you look, there is six. So don't be confused, little typo there. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're set. Now you take your balls, put them in. Okay, and you want them each in a compartment, and you could have two in the center. It's not a big deal, but they all have to be in a compartment. So your one purple one now is in a compartment, okay? So it doesn't necessarily matter how we start. 
Now we put these cards in front of us. Couple rules now when you're moving around. You may not take your beaker and just flip these out over the edge, okay? There's a little open area. If you look at the beaker inside, there's a round circle. See that opening? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where you have to move them. So you're taking your little tool. There's little spots for this to rest in so that you can spin your beaker. Okay. And you're sliding these around so you can move that out of the way, okay? okay? And if you need to get an orange in there, then you do that and you move it all the way around. Let's say it's two oranges in the center and that's the configuration. Then you say, Eureka! And you are the winner, okay? Okay. So then you start the next round with the, the little marbles in that same position, and then you get up to 10 cards. You gotta win 10 cards to win the game. Okay. So I don't know if we'll do all 10, but we will probably do at least three or four. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Might be hard at first, so we'll just kinda have fun. How's that? First card, over. Okay, so two green in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, now also that the center, so everybody knows you can put three in the center. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to actually turn this so I can kind of get a better sense of what I'm trying to do. I'm going to hide those there. And now I know I need to get my purple out. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, and then I want to get an orange in there, not where I put it. Oh, I'm accidentally hitting it in the wrong spot. Can I hold okay. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I need a purple next to that. Yeah, you have to really visualize. Okay, one more. That is the position. I did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. Cause it... Okay, so where did you get stuck? Well, I was trying to figure out because the purple and the purple go there. And okay, the it is a challenge. So here's what I did. I took my two green and I put one there and one there. Okay. So I knew that was the position. Okay? Because okay. I knew I'd eventually push those two back. Yeah. Then I turned my beaker into that position. Okay? okay? And then once I turned it in that position, then I knew where I needed to put the oranges and the purples. And then when I ended up, it would look like this. The green was there, the green was there. So now I did that. So now I know I matched the card. And then I just did this, move the greens in. Okay? Hmm, okay. So now I stay in that position. So now we're going to flip again. Now I'll move this one here. Here we go. And action. Now what I would do is I'd put a green here and a purple here and lock those in. Those two positions need to be locked in. So move everything around to get the center ones. It it's really can be challenging. And then I know I have that in the right spot. I don't have this in the right spot. Okay, and then... I need the green all the way over here. I know it's challenging, isn't it? Yeah, I'm putting back in there because it flipped out. Basically, just need to remember where you started and where you finished. Purple goes in there, and orange goes up, and green goes in there. Green goes there. I think it's Eureka. I have Eureka. Oh. Do you have Eureka? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, no, just okay. turn it okay. this way, match it to the card. Okay, no. Okay. It's orange, green, orange, purple, and then green and purple in the center. Okay. Oh, it's man. challenging, huh? You're having a hard time with this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that is the case. You really have to think. And then as you're turning, it kind of mixes it always up. I'll mix it up, but you got to get that okay. reference in your mind here. I'll do it again. Okay, now this one can be a little harder, but once you get the two greens, opposite each other. So find your two greens and put them next to each other. Okay? Those are always going to stay that way. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so orange. 
Come here. Purple. I gotta get this Shoot. purple. I didn't want to do that. I accidentally did that. Okay, so green, green. Oh no, I wanted that one there. Green, green. Orange, green, purple. Green. Eureka! Dang it! <laughs> I was kind of close. Yeah, you got your two greens right. Mm -hmm. And this was supposed to be purple. Yep. And that was purple the only Yep, one yep. Sure. Okay, so you're getting it. Mm -hmm. All right. Very slowly. We will try it again. Yeah. Here we go. I will let you do this one on your own, and I'll just watch. Okay, what I would do is I would start with my orange. You can leave you can move an orange in the center if you want, but move out your two purples. And move one of your oranges in the center. Okay, so this will always be make this one always empty, right? Yes. And then yes. what are you gonna have to put here? Green. Green. Okay, so take out the purple. And put a green in the center. Yep, just put a green in the center. Ah, oh, that's that makes it hard when you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I gotta put the purple back. Wait. No, you're okay. Just oh, put a purple okay. back in the uh, center so it's out of the way. There you go. <laughs> All right, start over. Okay. All right, so start with an opening. Get one of your greens out of there. Get this green out of there. Okay. Okay, so start this one as now turn it so that this this green is there. there. Okay. okay. And then next to it's gonna be open. So okay, it's green. So now move your purple next to the green, the one that's in the center. Keep going, keep going. This one. Get the purple in that spot. That's okay, just keep moving around. You want to try to get the green on top of it. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Dang it. Oh my gosh. I'm so close. Okay. 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 I just gotta get it. All right, then move the green out of there if that's a problem. No. Uh, Wait, I'm close to okay. <laughs> Keep going. You want to just try to wiggle this so that, oops, there, there. Okay. So green, purple, green. So get the green out, get this green out, put it in the center. Spin it back around. Green, purple, green, green, purple, green, green there. Not orange next to that. Orange is going to be here. Nope. Green, purple, green, orange. That's orange. Here. Yes. Green, purple, right? Green, purple, green, orange, purple. There. So green, purple, green, orange, purple, orange in the center. Got it. Eureka. <laughs> challenging. Mm -hmm, very. You have to really think. Mm -hmm. And it's challenging to move these around without them bouncing. You just got to remember there's these little cup areas in here in the blue yeah. that hold your little uh, tool so that you can your stirrer to move it around mm -hmm. all right well we're done I think you get it I get it I think it's interesting mm -hmm. and somewhat challenging I guess right yeah yeah it's very challenging all right well let's do it again okay <laughs> and then we'll end here and say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this look in the description Okay, this one shouldn't be too bad, depending on how you ended in the last round. Now, mine was in the perfect position, see? And I got it already. Already? Yeah, well, mine were pretty much set for me. <laughs> so, looking at the description, we'll have a link to other games. We do appreciate you watching and supporting Lucky Petty Shop. And if you're a fan of science, you'll definitely like all of the doctor games mm -hmm. and maybe i'll put some links to the past ones we did so you can reference all those and check them out and thanks for watching everybody here try this one later
Bye. Oh, wait, try this one. Oh, wait, try this one. <laughs> yeah, do that one. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.